throw it in that book. <laughs> First time on a feel free moking kayak. I have it on the low sitting position. I just want to get a feel for it. A feel free for it. <laughs> I see paddles nicely. I hate this paddle. This paddle's trash. I, I just hate this paddle. Like like I feel like the blades don't like quite catch the water. And yeah, I may be wrong, but whatever. That's why you have colors. You like what you like. I don't like this paddle. The other branding brushing paddles, love them. This one kill care less for it. I think it's just for like looks, that other thing, this plates. I don't care if they are made out of gold. Anyways, back to this kayak. Hey, we're moving nicely on it. Very nice. Let me put my phone on my Yeah Gadget adapter here so we can see how fast we're going. And no fear. No fear because I have a tether. See, something happens. Is the water still connected to me? I hope. <laughs> All right, so I wanna see how fast we could go here. Can you like um, zoom in? I don't even know how you zoom in. Uh, I wish it had sort of like a... Uh, anyways, let's do this. We got us the geese. All right, guys. So let's just do a little paddling demo right here. 2.6 miles an hour not going super fast let me put this right here so it's out of the way see this is the beauty with this cup holder you, you, you can move it around doesn't have to be like on one place you can move it around if you like uh if you like your drink over there or on the side you can just move it around so let's just do this paddle on the water easy paddling 2.5 2.9 not bad Three miles an hour, just just like easy paddling. Let's just crank it up. Three miles an hour. I don't want to hit my phone. That's why I'm doing it. Four miles an hour. Oh, I feel an issue here tracking. It's already pulling me to the right. 4.4 miles an hour. 4.3 miles an hour. I don't think I could go past 4.5 miles an hour. It's only been three and a half minutes. Whew. All right, so let's do this again. Let's go slowly. This is start registering. Nope, because it's an iPhone. iPhones don't work. God. What's going on? It's like the iPhone doesn't let the apps work properly. Hey guys, we're moving at zero miles an hour because it's an iPhone and iPhones suck because they don't track the speed well. God, what a piece of junk. Okay guys, let's see right here what we can do to turn this boat around. It's no longer tracking the speed, I don't know why. I don't know why Apple does that. I think it doesn't let the apps work properly. So it just shuts functions and not longer could use the GPS so you can't track you. I don't know why. Like it was tracking it two seconds ago. Stupid iPhone. Anyways, guys, so we established that we could go like a maximum four and a half miles an hour. And I don't think we're going to go faster than that on this boat. It doesn't feel like a bad paddle, but it does feel like a drag. It feels like a draggy. Now, something I noticed is that it sort of like doesn't track that well. All right, I'm just gonna let it go. See what happens. It definitely turned to the right faster than the other boats that we tested here today. So tracking is not the best tracker for sure guy fishing over there I don't want to get close now I want to see if I were to like do a quick turn here see what happens
Yeah, it turns very well too. Not a big deal. For some reason it feels like a more heavy boat on the water than the other ones that I we tested today. It's marking now. Woohoo! Okay guys, the app is marking now, so let's just head to shore, see how fast we could just take it slowly. 2.5 miles an hour. You do have to do a little bit of effort, three miles an hour. It moves, but but I feel like like it drags a little. Three point two, three point five. Let's see if I want to give it a little bit more juice. See, it doesn't track as well as that light tackle over there, or even the recon earlier today that we have here on the water. And um, of course, stop. Let's see if we stand up and look for fish. I saw some, man, and then I just couldn't get them. They, some of them were too small to take them. Wow, it does feel like raw solid standing up. You could definitely stand up and fish. It doesn't feel rocky as other boats. Although it does rock a little bit, but not too much. So, what do you think about this one? Oh, that boat? I love it. It's just an easy paddle, and it's good quality, and it's, uh, and it's very, uh, it's a open platform, you can do what you want. Maybe I got spoiled by the light tackle, but I felt like it was dragging. Maybe it's the wheel, maybe I'm t more tired, or maybe it doesn't track as well. Well, there's that. Because even when I was paddling, I had to be correcting my paddle stroke. That one, I didn't have to. The Recon, I didn't have to. Putting, uh, putting a fog motor in there though, it really, it really does. And you don't need a cart, you don't need nothing. You got the built-in wheels and you just go all the way to your truck.